Hi everyone, this is Tuplex. Welcome back. Uh, it's a brand new morning here in Felsbrunn, uh, about 6.45. I cleaned up and repaired the vehicles and put them all away in the shed, as you can see. Uh, so we're ready to go. And what we're going to be doing today is planting our field. Uh, it looks like some weeds cropped up during the night. Um, but since we're going to be cultivating and seeding at the same time, that should take care of the weeds. So we won't have to, we won't have to go through with, um, with the herbicide. Uh, let's see here. And I think we're going to do canola this time. Um, and let's check on our cows and see how we're doing there. <clears throat> Okay, so mixed ration is um, getting a little bit low, so I think we'll mix up some more ration today. Uh, productivity has dropped down to 97% because of cleanliness, so uh, we'll have to do some cleaning up here as well. And uh, that's about it. So let's get started with the planting. So we'll get out the case. We'll load up the cedar and head out to the field. Okay. So, seed selection, that's canola. Let's go load it up. Uh, money's a bit lower now since we we did have uh, about a $3,500 interest payment hit us last night, as well as a little bit, you know, some of the equipment upkeep, property maintenance, that sort of thing. Um, all right, we have 1,276 milk now. Uh, let's see what milk is selling for. Okay, best price for milk is $17.54. So um, that would give us about 2000 bucks. I think it's not worth making a trip yet. We'll probably give it another day or two uh, before I make a trip to sell it. Okay, yeah, the field's looking pretty ugly right now. That's okay, we'll take care of that soon enough. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go around the field twice manually to uh, create some space for the worker and then I'll put a worker on it and we'll start doing some other stuff. Okay. And I accidentally changed my crop to soybeans. There we go. I wanted canola. All right, and um, if I recall correctly, we were getting somewhere around eighty to a hundred thousand from our last couple of harvests. Uh, so with the econ set to easy now, I'm expecting that we'll get around twice that much. I, I, actually, I'm not sure if it's twice as much or fifty percent more, but um, I'm guessing we'll get. 150 to 200,000 from this harvest, uh, which is pretty nice. That'll allow us to start doing some more uh, significant uh, upgrades and progression on the base. Not the base, <laughs> the farm. <laughs> Sorry, I'm 
it's hard to switch back and forth between Factorio and Farm Sim. We're making a farm in one game and a mega base in the other game. Uh, if you if you found me because of Farm Sim and you've never played Factorio before, uh, I highly recommend you give it a try. It's probably my favorite game of all time. It's a lot of fun, and uh, I've put out quite a few videos on it, so if you need any help, I'm here for you. And if you're one of my Factorio viewers and you're just watching this out of curiosity, then you should pick up a copy of Farming Simulator. And be prepared for people to make fun of you when you tell them that you play this game. But I enjoy it quite a bit. It's very relaxing, you know, because you have moments like this where you're you're kind of busy doing something, but it doesn't it doesn't take a huge amount of your attention. Um, you know, so uh, this is when I'm playing and not recording. Um, I'll often have some some Netflix or uh, some YouTube videos going on on another screen at the same time and it's just a nice way to pass the time I think alright let's see how we do on this corner I think I made it yeah cool I don't think I missed anything All right, so we're working in, working in the lime and the fertilizer, cultivating the weeds under, and planting new seed on top. So we have a lot going on here all at once. Um, but after this seeding, since we're changing the field state again, um, I'll be able to put down another fertilization layer right after this which means that we won't have to we won't have to use a sprayer we can use the the solid fertilizer spreader for that because we'll be able to put it down before anything starts to grow um, and I hope that the weeds won't be back again until after the harvest seems like you only get weeds once about once every harvest but I'm not quite sure yet how the game times it out. You know, I don't know if it just comes like once every three growth cycles or every four growth cycles or or what. I should probably do a little bit of research on that or do some experiments, see if I can figure it out. Or let's just make a note of it. It's, it's 7 a.m., almost 7 a.m. Well, the weeds came up sometime during the night. I don't know what time I was fast forwarding while I was uh, while I was tending to the vehicles so I'm not sure exactly what time these things came up but I suppose next time we see the weeds first appear it would be good to note what time it is and then check when they appear again and that should give us some insight into what the timing is on these weed cycles I think the worst case on weeds is if is if they come up right before you're about to harvest. Because I don't think Well, I could be wrong about this, but I I don't think you can use herbicide on weeds when 
the crop is already harvestable, but I could be wrong about that. I think for realism's sake, I would say that you can't because I don't think you would want to be spraying herbicide on crops that you're about to send to market. this a little bit going uphill but not too bad So I'm thinking with the uh, with the income that we get from the next harvest, um, I'd like to I think I'd like to buy another field. Actually, I'd like to buy field 19 if we can afford it. I'm gonna have to check and see what the price is on that. Uh, Cause I'm thinking it would be nice to plant field 19 with grass since uh, field 20 has shrunk a little bit recently. And then, and then we can use that to generate extra income by selling excess silage bales. Seems like field 20 is gonna be, like I think field 20 is probably enough to support the cows that we have at the moment, but that's the other thing I'd like to, I'd like to start buying some more cows. In fact, I think I'll probably buy, since I do have a little bit of money here, I think I'll probably buy like another four cows for 10,000 bucks. And we'll just, uh, we'll just add a few more every time we make some money until we get a decent sized herd up. Because the 12 cows are not making a heck of a lot of milk. Okay, and one trip down the field and then we'll set the worker free. Uh, okay. <laughs> I was wondering why my, why my lights came on and it's because I hit the higher worker button by accident. Not quite ready for that yet. Since yesterday's video, I've got gotten a little feedback um, on setting the economy to easy. And uh, so far it seems like everybody's in favor of it, or at least they don't object to it, uh, which is good to know. I think it's a good idea. Okay. Great, so hopefully that'll give the hired worker enough room to turn things around at the end of the field without leaving too many areas untouched. I'm not sure why we need all the lights, but uh, It's almost 7 a.m. Okay. Back at the main farm. Let's buy a few more cows. And then we'll do some feeding and cleaning and that sort of thing while we plant our canola. 
I think this is the place that I want. And we're doing black and white cows. I like one, two, three, four. I'm not gonna lease the I'm not gonna lease the transport trailer this time. For only four of them. I think it's not quite worth the money there. Okay. So we've got 16 now. Um, we'll see what the next animal number gives us. It says 79 hours now, which is, uh, what, about, about three days. Um, but I'm not, I don't think that's taking into account the four additional that I just bought. So hopefully that number will go down. Okay, so I'm going to leave the bale spike over here. So I can attach the bucket. And we'll go clean up the feed trough. So now let's get the feed wagon. Uh, I think I'm going to have to leave my weight here. Still not quite 100% accustomed to the Xbox controller after switching over from the wheel and pedals. I still have to think about what I'm doing a lot of the time. All right, let's see if we can do this without the weight on the back. Right, and we'll follow the same formula as before. We'll do one straw, one hay, and two silage. We'll go in cab for this. I think that's a little bit easier. At least when picking them up.
Okay. Yeah, and so far uh, there's no problem whatsoever not having the weight on the back. So uh, it seems that this, this tractor is heavy enough to pick up these bales without having to counterweight. Let's see if I can get this up a little bit higher. Ah, crap. Did it again. The depth perception is something that I struggle with in this game. And I, I mean, I, I don't think it's, I don't think it's my fault, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's the game's fault either. I think it's just the fact that we're doing this in two dimensions instead of three. Last one. Whoops. There we go. Okay, great. Okay, and that looks like the chaff and stars <laughs> that we wanted to see. Let's turn on the mixer. Tip side is on the right. I'm going to actually want it to be on the left this time since I'm going to approach from this side. Okay, there we go. Okay, and it looks like we could do that another two or three times and the trough still wouldn't be full. We got 28,000 in there, but it's still only showing about a third full. So I'm not going to do another one now, but um, that's probably something that I'll do uh, perhaps offline or as I'm fast forwarding through the night, I'll just mix a couple more loads of this and dump it in there. Um, it would be really nice if I could get one with bigger capacity so that I could mix more batches all at once, but, um, well, it is what it is. Uh, let's put in another, let's put in another two bales of straw. And, uh, I'll pick up these, I'll pick up a couple of these square bales this time. And we'll see if we can do two at once. This one, that might be a little too heavy, but we'll see.
Okay. Seems to be all right. Just going to drive carefully so they don't go flying off. All right. And actually, I'm going to see if I can get them to both get in there at the same time. <laughs> okay, and the answer is no. I can't. see if this works. Whoops. Ah, okay. Nice. Yeah, so it doesn't have to be in there. <laughs> really good as long as there's a bale in there but uh, I think fitting two in there at once is a bit too much to ask now there is I think there are there are other bale shredders aren't there yeah there's this one that's trailed you know, and it says that it holds one bale, but I think that one might be, it might be easier to fit more than one bale on it. Okay, so let's set that down. Put the other bale in. This thing doesn't like square bales, apparently. <laughs> so now I'm blaming the equipment for my poor skill at driving this thing. Uh. pick it up on the long side. I think that'll be better. Jeez. 
There we go. Okay. Oh boy, that wasn't too easy, was it? Um, looks like I should be able to get this whole bale in there. Let's see what happens. You can see the straw starting to accumulate underneath the grass in there. I hope it'll take all of it. Okay. All right, see how we're doing on our planting. Looks like we're doing just fine. Still have plenty of seed in the hopper. Um, I am running rather low on fuel. Um, and since the fuel stop is over to the east of the field, I think I will just wait until my worker gets down on that end of the field and then I'll get rid of him for a minute. I'll go refuel and then I'll come back and finish his job. And, um, we're about out of time for today, so I will, uh, get this field planted and um, I'll see what else there is to do. I think, uh, you know, it could be time to cut some grass again. Let's take a look here at the state of field 21, or field 20, rather. Uh, we need to turn the grass on first. Yeah, that one is ready to cut, but it's not at full length yet, so I'm going to wait to cut the grass until it's fully grown. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'll get this, I'll get this planted and then I will, uh, I'll just fast forward until it's ready to harvest. Um, <clears throat> I may do a few contracts while that's happening. And then uh, when all that's done, I will join you again and we'll harvest the canola and we'll cut some grass and I think we'll make hay bales since uh, that's what we're the shortest on right now and also because I don't have a wrapper yet. So uh, we'll make some hay bales. I'll have to lease. Well, no, what I'll do is I'll make the bales. I'll wait until we sell the crop and then I'll buy the trailer to pick up the bales. And then hopefully at that point, we'll also have enough money to buy field 19, which costs 174. Yeah, I'm not sure we're gonna have quite enough. So what I'll do is I'll buy the field first and then I'll buy the trailer. Cause once I have the field, I'll be able to increase my loan. <laughs> and I know everybody wants to see me increase my loan. All right. Well, thanks a lot, everybody. Appreciate it as always. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.